Hello everyone, this is Sunil here. Let's get started on this session. We're going to be talking about how to run the bots, right? So before uh, starting with the object studio, I just wanted to show you how you can run the bots, like how we are exactly running the process that we are creating here. So the process that we're actually creating here is uh, you, you will see how we run it in the control room, right? So in production, um, it's like administrator usually will have the access to the control room under the queue right you can have different and I'll be taking the session on queue separately later but I'm just giving you a basic idea here right I'll show you um, in the control room just go to control room this is the control room where whatever process you will have you will be executing here right now in the control room right these are nothing but the available processes in the control room okay and this is the available resources so when I say available resources that is nothing but like uh, my bot so uh, let's say uh, know about this particular system and it assigned a bot here to run on this process and these are nothing but uh, instances that I'm going to create here so if I'm going to execute a process here through by using this particular bot it will create an instance here right here so whatever process you know I have created here I can actually run it from the control room right so let's say uh, you know this was the session or <coughs> the process that I created so let's say this process um, uh, let's say if I have uh, we can run it instead of running it here so if we can run it from the control room right so let's uh, just see so I just created uh, and I first thing how do you make a process level in the control room so if you see this particular thing I know this uh, link tool like so what is the purpose of this like once you double click open it uh, in there there is an option here which is called publish right publish to the control so as soon as you select this particular option and you click click OK right and uh, just save it right all right it's done now you go to the control room so there is an option here you want to click it uh, just a refresh option right just refresh One second, just today. Yeah, let's refresh. Uh, let me just go back again. I think it uh, didn't say properly. So let me just close this. Then uh, let me try. Uh, sometimes it happens. Uh, let's take the other process and do it sometimes it takes a bit of time because uh, I'm doing it in my local system and, um, let's see this particular process so just saved it and um, I go here and say I publish this process to the control room just click and say ok done now save it just say save yeah uh, done so uh, this is the session right student score right the you can see here I have published you can see the tick mark right a green tick mark so green tick mark basically means that uh, the process got published to the control room right it's very simple now just go here and uh, yeah now you can see right so you see here student score isn't this the same thing right so 
so session two also got published uh, it took some time it took some time but yes uh, sometimes it takes time otherwise normally it takes this uh, less time right uh, there is also a different way to do that right you can see here start selection you can bring this particular thing drag and drop just on this process right this this way also you can do it so you can see here a particular in uh, session got created right you can see the instance right away this uh, panel now you can see that the state is pending as soon as the process uh, level in the control panel the state will be pending okay it's created by admin because i have logged in as admin the resource is the bot that is going to work on the process right now let me start this particular process so i can do it from here right so just start right click start uh, there are multiple ways in which you can do it so let me just start it in this way so I just select it first see uh, now it got completed right it got started at 1036 and it got completed in a fraction of a second you cannot see that exact information here and yeah when you double click you will see what are all the stages that you know basically uh, this is the log which will show you what are the stages that is executed before coming and at the end of this what is the time and what time it started and all that stuff so this is how you run any process in the control room right so in the advanced topic uh, we will see the queue concept so we'll see how through the queue concept we will be doing it and that's really important but anyway this was just a basic uh, basic idea i've given how you can uh, run the bots thanks guys